Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And let's discuss addressing system that is absolute and relative referencing in Excel. So let's take one example in the workbook. We want to calculate the total salary of John, Missel, Thomas, Henry, which is the summation of basic salary plus dearness allowance, house rent allowance, travel allowance and special allowance. So the percentages are given. This percentages we want to multiply with the basic salary. So we will require a proper addressing system. What is an addressing system in Excel? Let's try to understand. If I want to fix the column, then I will use the dollar operator. Let's see how. I'll prefix with the dollar and the column name. If I want to fix the row, then it will be prefixed. The dollar will prefix the row number. There can be another possibility. I want to do the absolute referencing in which I want to fix the column as well as the row. So it will be prefixed with the dollar uh, dollar column name, dollar row number. Now let's get back here. To calculate the DNS allowance of these four employees, we want that the row is fixed, but the columns vary. Why it should vary? Because we are going to uh, multiply this percentage with the basic salary. So the basic salary should change but the row should be fixed. So here DNS allowance is calculated as, I'll write down the formula, equal to B dollar two. So it means that as the dollar uh, is prefixed before the row, the, your row is fixed, but the column can vary into now I need to specify the cell of the DNS allowance. So it is, uh, I'll be using dollar B11. So here I have used dollar B11, which means that I have fixed the column and the row can vary. Why I have done this? I'll explain it later on. Enter. So this is your DNS allowance. Write it down. D A down. Now simply drag it. Go in formulas. So the formula. Now, uh, now observe this. B two, C two, D two, E two. The row was fixed, as we had already discussed, for the basic salary. N. B11, uh, which is for the dearness allowance, it is fixed for all the columns. Now you click again on uh, show formulas and it will show you the values. Now we want to calculate the HRA. The house rent allowance. Just observe carefully. I'll drag vertically. Last time I dragged it horizontally. Now this time I'm, I'll drag it vertically. One, HRA is calculated. Two, traveling allowance is calculated. Now why uh, uh, I'm dragging it vertically? Because I want that this percentage gets multiplied with B2. And see how it happens b2 is fixed and now it will take the value b12 here it will take the value b13 how this has happened see again i will click on this formula so the formulas b11 it takes the value of the dns allowance 
let me write down here hre and here traveling allowance here it takes the value b12 and here b30 now again you can drag horizontally so what it will do it will again take the value c2 d2 e2 but b12 is fixed again drag it so this is uh, known as relative referencing there is one more referencing which is known as absolute referencing so let's talk about the spatial allowance so i'll write out here spatial allowance if i want to fix rows as well as column so even if i drag it vertically or horizontally the value should not change so i write down here b dollar to asterisk so i want to uh, give the reference of e11 so dollar e dollar 11 and drag it you can see e11 is fixed now this can be quite cumbersome if you have to do many absolute referencing so i'll give you one shortcut key so i'll first press ctrl z and let's say i want to do the absolute referencing of e11 after you write down the cell reference the key which you have to press is listen carefully it is function f4 function f4 and it will take the absolute referencing automatically where the column name will be prefixed with dollar and the row number will be prefixed with the dollar done now just drag it so this was all about absolute and relative reference in ms excel for more videos on ms excel please subscribe my channel so that you can refer all videos in my playlist please don't forget to like and share my videos you can also follow me on linkedin twitter and instagram link given in the description box